position and wait for my go. Hi, welcome students to uh, tutorial week 6. Okay, so in the week 6 tutorial, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a uh, footer uh, for the website content. Okay, so you guys I need to use a uh, week 5 uh, lessons uh, pre uh, tutorial for this exercise. Okay, so uh, we're going to use that and create a footer so usually a footer you have a multiple content okay within that multiple content instead of arranging uh, all the content one by one individually what we can do is that we can use display flex and uh, also use a same div class for each and every content and then uh, all the content will follow accordingly all right so uh, with that, okay, what I want you guys to do is that uh, you can download or uh, use the file that you already have in week 5 and then, uh, and then uh, rename the file to week 6 for uh, this week tutorial. Okay, so with that file from week, uh, week 6, okay, which is this one, I'm just going to click uh, open. Okay, this one I already renamed it to week 6 so but actually it is a file from a week 5 okay or you can download it from your open learning okay, click on index okay so uh, first of all we're going to uh, refer to our Photoshop file which is this okay so if you look our Photoshop file Alright, okay, so you will have a three content. So this three content basically is the same size, same properties. Okay, so we're going to use a display flex and also use a same div class for this three content. Okay, so uh, back to your uh, index.html. So in here, we're going to insert okay, a div tag called footer. Okay, click OK. Delete the uh, placeholder text. Okay, so inside this footer, and so this is the footer. So there is a footer container which is on the red area. Okay, so we create a footer underscore container. Sorry, container. All right, and then so inside this container there will be a three uh content okay one two and three so that is the content that we're going to create so first of all the first content is a uh, about us okay so insert uh, div uh, we're going to use a uh, footer underscore content one okay so inside this content one we're going to uh de compose the content uh, using heading h4 that says about us so uh, next one is the image of the divider divider image right and lastly uh, the paragraph okay the paragraph for the content okay so you can copy and paste uh, from here okay from your Adobe Photoshop file okay once you already uh, copied the content over there so in the paragraph by right you should have a something like this and then just check your div click over there so now I know that all my content is within the photo content one div so everything is uh, go going great for me alright so save all and then I can add uh, two more content over here uh, with the same uh, div class, okay? Footer underscore uh, content one using the same content one uh, div class, okay? Over there, okay. So this one is H four again. So the name is uh, the team, okay? The team. And then uh, insert a content, insert a divider. Okay, click on image divider. So that is divider design. Okay, so see, uh, make sure you check for your div. 
and then uh, in the paragraph okay I want you put your name sorry name and then another paragraph ID okay so in the same level I just going to space it like that okay so name and ID I want you guys to put your name and ID uh, over there okay so you look over here okay diff is going great I will correct okay so going underneath over here and then I want to input another div tag called footer content underscore content one still using the same thing same name footer underscore content one okay so in that content one okay I can uh, put a h4 so lastly it is our location so you type over there our locations image a divider and then underneath the divider there is a, a paragraph that uh, that have the uh, KDU's uh, address so I want you guys to put that okay so once we already input our content we're just going to preview our file okay for now we have something like this you right click using Google Chrome so you will have a content that look like this okay now we're going to start to design using the CSS uh, file okay so click over here okay click on footer and then CSS designer on the selected area okay select the area right click on plus footer okay so once you're done so footer a uh, width is a hundred percent hundred percent and the height is 200 pixel okay 200 pixel uh, with a color background color click on background and then background color a bit of dark gray somewhere around there okay so i'm satisfied with that gray enter then you will have a uh, color that looks like that okay we just check our file save all so from here a footer refresh okay so you have something that looks like that okay which is uh, that that is the look that we are looking for so now we're going to make arrangement uh, towards all the content inside the uh, inside uh, the footer okay okay so for the content inside the footer we're going to set the container first okay so the container click over there container I just want the name of the dot uh, footer container and so on because I don't want the name to be very long okay so in the footer container Okay, click on the layout the width is a 940 pixel 940 pixel and then the height is the same uh, sorry uh, it should be 200 pixels height okay and the placement of margin should be auto on the left and then auto on the right okay right so if we save all and then click check for our designs okay so uh, we have something uh, around there so one more thing is that we are going to make adjustment is on uh, on display okay you scroll down until you see a display where is it display Mm, visibility so I'm just going to display display okay this what is it okay display you select here is flex inline none okay so it does not have for what we're going to do is that okay uh, just select block for now okay and then I want you to type over there flex okay display flex 
okay so if we uh, created a display flex content in our css file you have display flex and then save all your file okay from here by right you should have content that will arrange accordingly uh, uh, to their length of their content okay so now everything is works well okay so that that is something that we wanted to do okay moving forwards okay is we going to make the footer content okay since we have same uh, name of footer content one okay for all three of our content so what happened is that if we apply once and then both all of the three the other div tag will follow accordingly okay so click on footer content one okay i just want this one okay so footer content one okay so set the size uh, first uh, footer content one is a uh, width is uh, 300 pixel height is 200 pixel okay 200 pixel okay so height is with 200 pixel check our design save all Go over here okay so now uh, we have uh, this going on okay maybe we can have some spacings in between the image and the gray area so there we can find in terms of margin so you can put margin over there margin top 20 pixels okay and then the margin from each and every content you can put over there 10 pixels okay save all okay save all make sure you save all your file okay so from here we can have okay so uh, our location is it looks uh, better all right so it's just that now uh, the stack is going on the left uh, alignment so we want to make it in the middle okay so that will be false under uh, text alignment over here text align center okay text align center click over there all the text should be all right so that is the looks that we are going for okay so now uh, spacings of the divider and the p address over there okay so the p's uh, should be uh, image okay click over there footer content img okay footer dot footer underscore content one img so i'm going to uh, make put some margin uh, 10 pixel okay and then a p as well i'm going to footer content one p so i'm just going to delete that okay this one also 10 pixels okay save all okay save the css file as well okay so from here by right you should have a spacing from there and here as well so if you refresh okay so that is the looks that we are going for okay so i now you already have a complete file of your css style okay and then you have a complete footer and so on and then i want you guys to input uh, the content that you should over here especially name my id uh, zip your file and uh, submit to open the link below over there okay so uh, as we move on forward we will look into how we want to use uh, html sorry css to control all the content uh, that we have in our uh, design over here okay that will be in the next week class okay so i want you guys to try uh, to create the footer and then please uh, go through uh, the other exercise that you have been allocated all right okay see you guys next week